While people often believe dogs and cats don't get along, that's not always the case. They can share a home in harmony, and Peter had first-hand knowledge of that. But one day, he got home to find his beloved dog Max carrying his cat Sam, and the scene looked strange. When Max realized why the dog wouldn't let go of the cat, he turned pale and rushed to call the vet. When Peter got a hold of the vet on the phone, the doctor told him there was no time to waste. He'd heard about this kind of situation before, and things weren't looking great for Max and his pets. However, the vet couldn't be sure unless he could examine the cat. With that, Peter ran to his car with his pet. Unfortunately, it was rush hour and he couldn't hurry as much as he wanted to. When he finally arrived at the veterinary clinic with Sam, Peter was sitting next to the vet's assistant. She told him that the vet would be there as soon as possible, but it had been almost an hour since they had spoken on the phone. Peter was so worried about his pet that the worry turned into anger, so he demanded the doctor come to see his cat. After all, he said it was a dangerous situation and there was no time to waste. Why hadn't he been there ready to see them? The vet's assistant tried to calm Peter down, but he wasn't having it. He was ready to take matters into his own hands. Next thing the assistant knew, Peter was running to the vet's office, demanding he saw his cat Sam immediately. The doctor was in the middle of examining a dog, but when the dog's owner saw Peter's desperation, she made the kind decision to ask the vet to tend to him first. After all, her dog was only getting a routine checkup, and it seemed that Peter's pet needed urgent help. That calmed Peter down a bit, and he was relieved that Sam could finally be examined. He couldn't wait to know what was going on. But as soon as the vet started examining Sam, he turned pale. He seemed to know what was going on, but he didn't tell Peter anything. Instead, he started to ask questions. The vet started with some standard questions, but the nature of the questions quickly turned strange. He started asking how Sam was treated before he was adopted, and Peter was puzzled. Why did the vet want to know that? Shouldn't he be examining the cat some more? When Peter answered, the vet wasn't expecting to hear what he heard, so he immediately turned to his assistant for help. They needed to start some medical tests immediately, and he needed the results as soon as possible to confirm his suspicions. All the vet could think about was how an adult could do this to a cat he claimed to love, but he had to keep it professional. The vet took Sam with him, but it was far from easy. Sam became quite restless and even a little aggressive. The vet needed the help of his assistant to get the cat to lie down, but it seemed impossible. After trying for a few minutes to no avail, the vet asked Peter if he could help him. Maybe he could get his cat to calm down, but it didn't do any good. Sam was very aggressive, even with her owner. Sometime later, the cat started to calm down, and the vet took the opportunity to put the cat to sleep so he could examine her properly. As soon as he started examining Sam, the vet noticed a large lump in her belly. Peter noticed that the vet had found something strange, so he asked about it. He really wanted to know what was happening with his cat. But before we learn more like this video to help it reach 5k and subscribe to the channel for more content. The vet didn't answer Peter right away. Instead, he whispered something to his assistant who ran out of the office. They had to perform an ultrasound and additional tests. It was a tense few minutes for both Peter and the vet. Was there something wrong with Sam? As the doctor performed the ultrasound, the vet's attitude changed. He was optimistic at first, but that quickly turned into pessimism. Peter didn't want to distract the doctor, so he decided not to ask questions, but he was dying to know. After a few minutes, the vet told Peter that he needed to make an urgent phone call. But the doctor didn't say who he was calling or why. As you can imagine, Peter started to panic. Would his car recover? Was there something complicated going on? Peter's head was bursting with questions, but his thoughts were interrupted when the vet returned to the office with other assistants in tow. That made Peter panic even more because he was desperate to know what was happening with Sam. Peter couldn't wait any longer. He wanted to know what was going on, and he wanted to know right away. But the vet wasn't giving him any answers, 
The only thing he said was that Sam needed surgery and that could take a few hours. That's why the vet had brought in more assistance to provide Sam with the best possible care. At this point, the situation became a waiting game, but Peter had no idea how long he would have to wait. Then he noticed something else. The police were there. Peter didn't think it had anything to do with him, but the officers approached him and they wanted to question him. Of course, Peter answered all the questions about him and his cat Sam. At first, the questions were normal, but soon they became a lot more detailed. They wanted to know so many things, but why? What was the point of all the questions? They specifically wanted to know about the cat's previous owner. They also wanted to know if Peter had the cat checked before he brought it home. Peter said yes, and he even had the test results saved on his phone. He showed the police, and he also showed them a photo of the previous owner. The police thanked him for his cooperation, and they went to retrieve something. It was a huge file, and Peter wasn't expecting what happened next. The police showed him some photos and asked him if he recognised anyone. Peter did recognise someone, so he pointed out one of the men in the photos. That was the man who had sold him the cat. But what did it mean? Had Peter done something wrong? As it turns out, Peter had bought Sam from a criminal. There was a gang in town that bred cats for sale. However, Peter was very confused. He didn't know what that had to do with him. After all, he wasn't involved in the illegal business. He had just bought the cat. But then the vet appeared and he would finally explain the situation. When the doctor was performing the ultrasound on the cat, he noticed something that was very difficult to believe. He realized immediately that it was something illegal, so that's why he called the police. But he had good news for Peter. Sam was pregnant and she was going to have a nice litter. Apparently, the criminals had impregnated her, presumably to sell her kittens. They must have sold Sam to Peter by mistake. That mistake would lead the police to finally catch them, all thanks to Peter being a concerned pet owner. After Sam recovered from surgery and gave birth to two adorable kittens, it was time to catch the criminals. Peter posted on social media that his Sam cat had two beautiful kittens, hoping that the people who sold them the cat were keeping an eye on him. As you can imagine, Peter was anxious but excited. Peter would leave the house and they were expecting the criminals to break in somehow to try to steal the kittens. That's how the police planned on catching them. But what if the police didn't catch the guys? What if the criminals were clever and went unnoticed? Well, it turns out they weren't that good. As soon as they broke into his house, the police arrested them. Everything went well and Peter had a nice hero moment. Deep down, Peter knew that his dog Max was the one that should be thanked. After all, he was the one who noticed that something was off about Sam. Peter wouldn't have noticed until it was too late, and who knows if Sam would have survived without veterinarian help. So, Peter rewarded Max with new toys and good food. At the end of the day, he was grateful both of his pets were healthy, and he was ready to give the new kittens a loving home. What do you think of today's story? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel.